Towards the beginning of this course, we did a lesson on custom lists. I showed you why custom lists are useful. We took a look at some of the inbuilt custom lists that come with your copy of Excel. And I showed you how you can create your own custom lists so you can quickly fill down lists of data. But did you know that you can also use custom lists when it comes to sorting? So let's take a look at this example. Now notice here, we're using the same table of data, but I've actually removed all of the sorts. So we're just back to basically sorting by employee ID chronologically, smallest to largest. Now we've already seen how we can do single level sorts on one column. We've seen how we can do multi-level sorts where we combine lots of different columns. But what about if we want to sort our list in a very specific way and simply sorting columns A to Z or Z to A doesn't quite give us the result that we're looking for. Well, this is where we can utilize a custom list in our sort. So if you take a look over in column I, you can see that I've just listed out the employee names from the table. But the difference here is that the employee names are in a completely different order in column I to what they are in the table. You can see in the table, the first employee name is John Smith, whereas in column I, the first employee name is Michael Williams. Now, maybe I want to sort my data in this specific order by employee name. I'm not going to be able to do that because there is no pattern to this sort order. They're not listed A to Z or Z to A. However, I can achieve this by creating a custom list and using that as my sort. So let's create our custom list first of all. We're going to jump up to the File tab. We're going to go down into Options and we're going to go straight to the Advanced page. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. And if we scroll pretty much all the way down to the bottom, we're going to find the edit custom list button. So here it is, create lists for use in sorts and fill sequences. So we're going to choose edit custom lists. We can see all of the custom lists that we currently have set up and you can see I have quite a few in here and now we can add in our custom list. Now remember with custom lists you want to make sure that you have new list selected at the top here. You can type in your entries but for us that's going to be a bit tedious because we have quite a lot of employee names. Alternatively we can import the list from cells. So that sounds like what we want to do. Let's click down here. I'm going to select my list of names in column I and I'm going to click on import. So that's now imported all of those names and I've effectively created a custom list. Let's click on OK and OK again. So now that we have our custom list created, how can we use that to sort our data into that order? Well, it's really simple. Let's make sure that we're clicked in the employee name column we're going to go to the data tab and we're going to click the big sort button just here because now what we want to do is we want to say sort by employee name. We want to sort on the values in the cell, but when it comes to the order, if we click this drop down, notice that we have a custom list option in here. So when we select this, it's going to open up our custom lists. We can go through, select the list we want to sort by, click on OK, click on OK again, we should now find that this table is sorted in exactly the order that we have in column I. And I can see that it is. So custom lists are super useful when you want to sort your data into a very specific order that isn't covered by the other options. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.